Hi guys, some time ago, I think 10 or even more years, I started to create some .NET WinForms UI components. Then I had to stop the development, but now found the time to rebuild and complete the framework, and I called it JNM Controls for .NET. The main control is a grid that can be used as a tree list as well, and it is fully owner drawn and extendable. Here in the Feature Explorer, you can start C Sharp demo projects to show and explain the main features. Other controls are checkboxes, buttons, sliders, progress bars, or panels to build nice looking, user friendly .NET applications. Let's have a look at some projects that are included and that you can start by pressing this button here in the Feature Explorer. Ok, this one is a kind of Microsoft Outlook style application and you can see we have a data grid control with custom rendering and embeddable controls for the cells. It can be sorted, grouped and on the left side you have a navigator control which is included as well. In this demo the grid is used as a tree list. We have a column with a progress bar that can be added and configured in a very simple way and you can also enable custom filters for the columns. As I said it is a tree list so the rows can be expanded and collapsed and for lazy loading there is a progress indicator as an overlay. Another feature of the grid is a renderer that reminds of Microsoft's Excel. You can change the render type and also implement a custom one. In this mode you can also define the first row as a filter. The color of the cells can be modified which I show in this example project. There are many other controls included, for example this on off switch, or sliders and progress bars. And the windows, as you can see, also have a custom rendering. So let's see how to use it in Visual Studio 2019. In a WinForms project, I just drag the tree list view onto a form. Here in the properties, you can change, for example, the render type. And then you can click here in the designer to add columns. I add three default columns now. And then I set the size and the captions. Just select it and then define the text in the properties. I also want to show the group box so that I can group the data by dragging the columns into the box. Data binding is supported, but let me show you how to kind of manually add rows and cells to the grid. In this method I add 12,000 rows and each row has 3 cells. You see it's quite intuitive to fill the grid. I start the project, the grid is filled and then I use the feature column grouping. It's a simple drag and drop. You can get the framework from my Gumroad page, the link can be found in the description below. I will add more documentation and I will upload tutorials for particular features. I made the price really affordable and if you need special features or controls then let me know. I hope you liked the video and the framework, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, support me by being my patron or join here as a channel member, follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and I'll see you soon guys in the next one.